Thank you, Chair. I'm happy to be here today because finally we all agree that transforming education is not enough. It's time to transform education. The more time we take, the more difficult will be to do it. The COVID-19 pandemic gave us the opportunity to stop for a while and to reflect in depth on how to transform education. In Albania, we have already in place a new strategy on education, which is for the first time complete and comprehensive with concrete objectives and steps widely consulted with all key actors, including students, young people, parents and public. The vision of our strategy is to have a quality education system based on the principles of inclusion and lifelong learning. In addition, starting from May, with the support of the UN country team and UNICEF, we have also undertaken a process of national consultations with the main aim to achieve a national consensus on how education should look like in the future. Since digital learning is a priority for our government, starting from September of this year, coding and ICT will be part of the curricula from the first grade at primary schools. There will be more investments on new smart labs and training opportunities for both students and teachers, because the access to internet is already a human right. The green agenda and environmental protection are also part of our curricula, but we strongly believe that more efforts should be done to educate our students at early age to be active promoters of environmental protection. The main goal of our government is to offer our youth the best quality education and give them more chance to see their future in their home country and give contribution for its development. Dear friends, the world is now facing new challenges such as the economic inequality, climate change, energy crisis, even more military conflicts. Therefore, Albania is convinced that a new social contract is needed for education. And in order to face these multiple crises and benefit from technological and digital revolution, as well as accelerate recovery from COVID-19 pandemic, education must be considered an investment. It does not only help coping with crisis, but it is the key to build back better. What we are saying today is not new, of course. The challenge is how to implement it. And meeting like this today help us understand better how it is important to cooperate with each other. Because through cooperation, we can build back better and together, ensuring long-lasting, peaceful and synergistic relationships. Thank you very much for your attention.